Auguste Escoffier, also known as the Chef of Kings and the King of Chefs, was born in Rivoire, town of Venoux, Loubet, France, on October 28, 1846. He was the first chef to work publicly. He never worked privately throughout his career, but his customers were those well known people in London, as well as the king. Escoffier promoted that all food professionals should be dedicated to improvising their skills and general knowledge through education. Escoffier developed the new sense of highly refined simplicity in dining. He also repulsed the foul language and lack of concern of cleanliness in 19th century kitchen. He also wrote numerous articles and books on cookery. So as years go by, his coffee is subordinate and still the standards of sanitation and a real respect for the wholesomeness of the food they serve. His coffee had expertise, the science was a pioneer in food preservation in the developing of sauce that could be bottled for whole paper. He also wrote numerous articles and books on cookery, such as founding magazines and writing books. It was the best known art and guides for the modern chef, the lay guide culinary 1903 on, February, on the 12th of February 1935, a few days after the death of his wife, Escoffier that died at his home at La Villa Fernand, 8th base, Villa Costa, Monte Carlo, in his 89th year. He is buried in the family vault at Villeneuve Lobert. To summarize his impact at the culinary art, Escoffier's contribution to the entire culinary arts range pyros innovation by the Palais of Houston. Marie-Antoine Karim was a French chef and food writer who lived from June 8, 1783 to January 12, 1833. He preferred to call himself Antoine, Antoinine, though he named in honor of Marie Antoinette. He was a celebrity chef and his style of cooking is now deemed opulent, if not outright excessive. He is the founder of La Grande Cuisine Française and his having established the supremacy of French cooking in Europe for the next 200 years. He abolished the presence of fish and meat on the same plate, and he revolutionized away old-style garnishes such as coxcombs and offal. Karim was born in Rue du Bac, Paris, to a poor family that had somewhere between 15 and 25 children. His father was a dock worker at the nearby river wharves. Karim was sent out to fend for himself at a young age. Some say 8, some say 10, and others 12. Marie Antonine Karim contributed many ideas, dishes, and techniques to the world of culinary. One of his main contributions was to the chef's uniform, and he also introduced the new style of hat worn by chef. This hat is called the toque. This form of hat is still worn by chefs today. He was also the first person to create categories for the sauces of the culinary, and this became the foremother of, of leading sauces. He also helped to create a new cuisine that branched away from local original cuisine, and it was named Haute Cuisine. <laughs>